What's up, y'all? Um, got a little topic, you know, for the day. Try not to, I'm gonna try to not make this too long, but this is gonna be about um my thoughts on the 2030s, the the twenty the two thousand thirties decade, the twenty thirties. It's gonna be about um basically my predictions and what I think is gonna happen. A lot of the stuff that I'm going to say ain't going to really, he ain't going to be no, he ain't really a secret. So I ain't going to sit here and make it seem like I got all the sense in the world. But it's just based on my observations on how things are now and how worse they can get next decade. So let's get into it. First thing that's going to happen is, um, well, I already made a video on that, um, about how the transgenders are going to basically that's the transgenders is going to become a bigger thing in the 2030s so you might as well just get you know get used to that um i think it's going and shout out to neighborhood sub five um because he reacted to my video but basically yeah like it's going to become transgenders are going to become bigger next in the 2030s because of the male loneliness epidemic you have so many guys they, they, you know, they're just so lonely. They not only they're not getting sex, but they're not getting affection, you know, attention, basically nothing. So they're gonna go to, you know, the transgenders for that, and the transgenders, you know, will be well accepted of it. The good part about it is they both will have something in common. They're both are considered outcasts from the world, you know, considering the fact that people hate transgenders because of their you know, lifestyle that like people just don't like you because you're an outcast. So it's good. They it's like they can eat off each other, you know. <laughs> um what else is gonna happen? Oh Generation X. Uh Generation X, which is people that are born from nineteen sixty five to nineteen eighty. You're gonna see a lot of those people they're gonna be because of how fucked up parents they were you're going to see them going into nursing homes so expect in the next decade so so in the 2030s that's another thing to expect expect the nursing homes rate you know going up at an all-time high it's going to be more another thing it's going to be more people killing themselves a lot of self-deletion um you know a lot of men and women going to kill themselves but i feel like Men going to kill, they, they still going to be more men killing themselves than it is women. So that's going to be a, a lot. Um, I hate to say it, but people are, it may be people. Um, it's going to be a lot of rape going on too because of this male loneliness. Shit. It's just going to be a lot. Um, I could see the school shooting shootings happening. A lot of mass shootings and stuff. That's going to happen because, you know, people are going to get so tired of, you know, you're going to have a lot of people, um, be a lot of men that's going to be lonely and, you know, and not have that much money because of the, of the inflation. So they just, you know, going to just go crazy, you know, going to, going, going to do some shit, you know, shoot up some stuff. But I'll be glad, though. I don't really, I don't really. I don't feel bad for them because it's like, you know, society creates their problems. Society is very hard on certain people. And society don't care about certain people. And society has it out for certain people, too. So it's like you get what you deserve, you know, fuck them. They don't be caring about, you know, um, people like us when we die. So why should we give a fuck about them? Uh, What else? Inflation is going to like I talked about. Yeah, inflation is going to get worse. I believe it's going to come to a time where a bag of chips is going to be like $3. <laughs> Shit, they already high now. A bag of chips is going to be like $3 in the 2030s. Um, cable is going to go instinct. Cable television is going to go instinct. Uh, it's, already, it's always really on life support now. I still have cable. Though. I have cable and streaming services. Uh, what else? I believe the African American community would get much, much, much worse. I believe uh, the kids of the twenty thirties of the next decade 
they're going to be they're going to be much more disrespectful because of the fact that um people don't really like I don't know. See that like they don't really, you know, they their parents take a lot of shit these days. Um now I ain't, I ain't really with the whole everybody needs to be every child needs to be disciplined, but like you know, I feel like the next generation in the 2030s, you know, the parent, the, the children going to be much more disrespectful than they are now. Uh so yeah, that's that's basically my take on it. I just expect a lot, lot, a lot more bullshit next decade. You know, people can't get, you know, men can't get women, they can't get money. So it's like basically just expect for the worst. Um, shit, you gonna have a lot of women killing themselves too. Because what's gonna happen is is that um, you gonna see a lot of women and children kill themselves too, just like men, because it's like. You have a lot of these women, as far as this decade in the 2020s, they're on OnlyFans, and a lot of them may have children. And a lot of them may have children, and when those children grow up, they become like middle schoolers in the 2030s. People are going to be teasing them about it. And so children are going to be tired of getting buddy because of their moms doing nasty shit on OnlyFans, and the children might kill themselves. And some women might kill themselves too because they might want certain men, but certain men might not take them seriously because of the shit they did on OnlyFans. What else? Um. Oh yeah. Some men gonna be going to um. You know, some men gonna be going to travel abroad and live abroad because of the inflation that's going on in America, in this country, in the West. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, one thing. I think one last thing I'm going to say, you're going to see a lot of females, a lot of women that's going to be like making YouTube videos, trashing and talking shit about men that date transgenders in the 2030s, considering the fact that they didn't even want those men that were dating transgenders. (laughs) They didn't, they they not, you know, they didn't even want them, but now that they were transgenders, they're going to talk bad about them, have some shit to say about them. And try to stop them from, from dating transgenders and shaming them and shit. Same thing they do the passport pros. Anyways, I think that's all I got to say. Um, I love y'all. Be safe. Bye-bye.